guys read by the title so today we're gonna be talking about how i became a homeowner i did write down some pointers because i talk a lot i kind of want to keep it short brief and straight to the point on how i got my house because a lot of people been asking me these questions family members friends they all want to know what you did what i need to do i need to make some shape you know i'm tired of living with my mama some people tired of living in an apartment and you're not really, you know, you're not getting, you know, nothing from living in an apartment. That was one of my main reasons of what made me want to just become straight from moving out of my miles to becoming a homeowner. Because you don't get any benefits from paying rent. If you're not paying nothing to where it's going to legally be yours, you're wasting money. I'm telling you now, you're wasting money. Don't get me wrong. Some people... um their credit may be so toe up to the point where they can only do an apartment and that'll help build their credit or whatever. Yeah. But honestly, it's best to find other ways to build your credit. Um, but if that's your option, I'm sorry uh, that, that you had to go through that. I didn't. Um, but we're just going to get straight into it. Okay, so my first thoughts of um, looking for a home was search on Google. So I would just type in on Google for like the best. Um, I just was on Google like looking for um, different real estate uh, websites or whatever that I can go on like Keller Williams. Um, I'm saying Keller Williams because that's actually who I went through. Um, Realtor.com. I was looking for apartments too, but I be acting kind of stuck up sometimes about where I move. Like I'm moving out the hood. I'm and my main thing was if I'm moving out the hood, why would I want to move to another ghetto or uh, hood area? Like for what? Like I might as well stay where I'm at. So it wasn't for me like, oh, I'm finna I, I might move behind the mall or I might move like literally, literally in the hood, like off a of plank road or CC lockdown or something. Nigga, I'm moving from Fairfield. Th that's the slums. That's the hood. That's the hood hood. That's when you might see a, t a crackhead or two walking down the street and they know your mama. That like that. That's the hood for real, for real. Like there's no way. Like after. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I feel like I'm more than people. I feel like I'm better than anyone. I always just wanted the best for myself. And I feel like you know after I moved out my mama house, I want the best for myself. I don't want no average anything like that's all i want is the best so me talking about moving to any type of apartment no and like the closest thing to home would have been moving behind the mall or whatever no like that's not okay for me like i feel like that was unacceptable that's like six hundred dollar rent don't get me wrong the pricing is perfect for my pockets but it's the area like i don't want to have to come home early with a bunch of bags or whatever, because I might have a bunch of bags. I didn't went shopping. I got my five, six bags in my hands and got to look over my shoulder every five seconds because somebody gonna try to run into the apartment behind me. Or I need surveillance cameras, you know, somewhere by my front door because you never know who might steal my package. That's like the package is coming to my apartment complex. None of it. No, 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 no. I wanted somewhere secure that. In the morning time, when it's time for me to get up in the morning to take my child and put her on the bus, I don't have to worry about a uh, little CC on the corner. He he slanging early in the morning while the children woke. Okay. I wanted somewhere that was just safe, somewhere I felt secure, somewhere I felt a peace of mind. In the hood, safe. you don't feel a peace of mind when you live in a bad environment. I wanted to feel safe, loved, and just... just you get what I'm, y'all get what I'm saying. Like, don't feel like, I don't want to feel like I'm, like, because everybody be trying to say I'm stuck up, I be acting white and stuff like that. I don't try to act white at all, like, for real. Ah, I don't try to act white or I don't, I, I, I just be being myself. Like, I, I want the best for me. Like, I always wanted the best. I always wanted to go to the best schools. I always wanted the best everything. So, who gonna do it better than you by getting what you want? So, my best thing was, it's time to hustle. Let's get it. Let's get it. What can I do? So, I had started checking out little spots or whatever online. So, but this is the thing, though. When y'all get the liking and favoring and stuff, like, since you make a profile or whatever, and on a profile like Realtor.com or something, or wherever you, you shopping at, looking at homes, 
you know at the time when you're looking at the houses, you just looking at stuff that you think that look good. What 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 do you see yourself at for 10 years or five years, however long you want to stay there? Because I only plan my goal to let y'all know my goal is five years of being at this house. After like I, I plan on like the way I look at it, um, I look at it as like Okay, anyways, you guys, sorry for the interruptions because my daughter is going ballistics in the other room, doing the absolute most. Ah! She came back. Let's see if she's going to act civilized now. Okay, anyways, you guys, so I basically look at this, this house as an investment property. I never planned on, because at first what I was doing... Um, I actually were looking for homes that I could kind of like flip, get on the cheap side, which is way better to save money or whatever. Um, but look on the cheap side or whatever for homes or whatever, instead of paying like a whole bunch of money or spending like all that I qualified for, um, on my home, I decided like, you know, get something that was reasonable so I can flip it, make it into my dream home. So I would kind of be like. You know, when you're putting too much money into it or whatever. Like, I would still be like, you know, making it so like how I want it. Because honestly, these houses that we be seeing, it's still some things that we would like to be better or things that we would prefer a certain type of way. And the only way you can do that is if you build your own house. So my dream thing to do is build my own house. I will never settle for a house that's already been pre-made. Um, so with that being said, this house, I look at it as being an investment property. I plan on turning it into a rent home or either giving it to like my mother or well not even giving it to my mama because but she's gonna give something way, way, way better than this. But like um I, I really plan on turning it to a rental property. I don't plan on selling it or anything. I plan on turning it to a rent home and this will probably this probably won't be my first rent home, but I plan on making it into a rental property. So that's my plan for um this this house. I don't plan on staying here for the rest of my life because that's one of the things they were asking me as far as like loan wise. Uh, what, what kind of loan am I looking for? Because, you know, it's a 30-year loan and everything like that. But I want to purchase the home to make it my own. I just don't want to live here forever. This will not be, this will be one of my properties. But it won't be my residential, you know, spot that I will have on my driver's license. It will be somewhere else, much bigger, hopefully. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for. Anyway, so we're going to get straight into it. One day I was at work and I got a phone call from somebody. And when you're actually um, putting your information into the database and you're like liking and favorite, favoriting different houses and everything that you see online that you like, those people, I mean, where there's people that are looking on the database that are realtors. And they'll make reach out to you and make phone calls to you, send you emails and everything, text messages, all that and sort, depending on what all information you put in on the website. But they'll call you asking, hey, I seen that you were checking out so-and-so. And you're going to be like, what? Who are you? And then you got to think about it. Oh, I was online the other day checking out that house. So then I'd be like, oh, hey, hey, how you doing? Put my professional voice on. Hold on, let me see. <clears throat> Hey, how you doing? Oh, I did not know. Like, y'all, y'all just bear with me, baby. I be putting that, that professional voice on when I be hearing the people call on the phone. Okay? That's what you gotta do. When you wanna secure something, you gotta put that professional voice on. You ain't you can't be acting all country and hood and you know, you gotta put that professional voice on and get with it. So Sarah had called. And she was like, oh, I see you was checking out so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. This is my name, and this is who I work for. And, blah. and she just came with the most, and I've had people call so many times before her. I don't know. It must have just been God. It had That's who it was. I'm not going to say nothing else. That was God um, that put her in my life. But it was just a simple fact that I had been talked to so many people beforehand that have called with the same get up this is i i seen you were looking at this but it was her energy that really got me to want to like you know work with her and everything and i had been putting off so long because my husband was aggravated anyway i was aggravated too and we were both ready to move out of my mom's house 
like our baby hadn't came we were supposed to be really moving before my baby had even came actually we were supposed to be looking for an apartment but i kept saying i don't want no apartment i don't want an apartment and i kept putting off on it because i didn't want to move into no apartment so it had got to the point where like you know maybe i should go ahead and talk with sarah we have been putting off on it for so long and it kind of mainly was me because you know as women we do everything the men's just put money towards it and have a little say at towards the end. But other than that, we do everything. We pay the bills. We make sure the house stay together as a whole. We make sure everything is functioning properly. So he was not going to be out there looking for no houses. He just was going to be the one to say, we're not getting that house. I don't really like that one, baby. I don't really like that one. I was the one to get all the paperwork, everything, and sort everything together. Dude's not going to do that. Don't expect no nigga to just jump on some... No. They, 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 mm -mm, they kind of the ones at the, the end of it. We ain't going to get that house because that house is just in the bad area. We're not going to do, you know, they just give their opinions towards the end. But in the beginning, they're not going to be the one that's really helping. Some Don't get me wrong. Some men are eager to do those things. But mine's is not. He's more of the back burner. I got your back when it comes to answering the little tedious questions towards the end. But I handle all the big matters and everything. And I'm perfectly fine with that because I'm a boss when it comes to stuff like that. Maybe I like to get the job done. Anyways. So after Sarah had called me or whatever, we were talking, she wanted to set up like, you know, a meeting and everything so we could basically, you know, talk amongst each other, like face to face, meet her and her assistant on like what I look for in a home, what I want, you know, everything. Like what's my dreams about a house that I'm looking for or whatever. So I kind of told her I want modern, not so much of it being modern, but I don't want no old-fashioned type home that look like it's been built since 1960. No, no, no. I want something up-to-date, live, fresh. But I didn't really have a certain type of structure. I just knew I wanted it to be kind of a modern home. I did mention I don't want no zero lot lines. I don't like that. I don't care. There's so many famous people nowadays. They, I don't know if it's because they don't care about the property. They just probably like the backyard, but I like the front yard too. I like to be out in the middle of the front yard and everything. I like to be in the back. I don't like no house. As soon as I walk to the side of my house, I'm scrunched together on side my next door neighbor house. I don't like that. I told her no zero lot lines. If I have a house that's scrunched over to the side of my house, that means I can't add on nothing to my house. I can't add on no property. I need property, baby. I, I That's why I made sure I got a corner, a corner lot house. Well, I wasn't trying to get a corner lot house. It just, we looked up and ended up getting a house on the corner or whatever. But I have enough property to where I can extend, add an upstairs to my house and everything. I have enough space around the perimeter of my house to where I can add on. If you don't have space and stuff like that, you really just gonna be looking stupid because you're gonna be stuck in a claustrophobic house for the rest of your life, especially if you don't plan on actually moving out of there. But that was just in case, like, that was the plan in case, like, you know, I wanted to add on to my house because who knows? I may, I may, like, you know, I may add on to my property or anything within the next five years or whatever. Don't get me wrong, I do want to move, but those, these were all the things that, because, like, so imagine if I, I don't never have the money to, like, you know, level up, boss up, and advance in the next five years. I want to be able to add on to my house. I want to be able to add property on. So that was my 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 goals of everything. Make sure you get a house that you can add on property to. So zero lot lines was out of the question. I told her, I want to make sure all the door frames are big enough to where my husband can go in. I don't want him ducking. We went in one house to tour it. He had to duck in order to fit in the shower. My husband is 6'9", baby. The shower is basically his life. Like, he'll prefer the shower before the tub. Look how big he is, like. And he's got a big neck like this. No, that ain't, that's not gonna work, not gonna work. And the house was perfect. The only problem was the bathroom. That, I, 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 no, no, no. No, ma'am, my man got to stand up tall in that shower, not with his neck by the crook. Mm. No, that ain't gonna work. Not gonna work, boo. But anyways, y'all. So after I had got to selling him everything that I wanted, everything I was looking for in a house, and I didn't want no two bedroom. I wanted three bedroom. Don't get me wrong. It's only three of us right now. One per. I have one baby. 
Paisley Rian Lewis. And I got my hubby sexy scrumptious chocolate cake. And me. We only need two beds, actually. But I said, no, we need three because we're going to have another baby. Like, honestly, when you're planning on having more kids, it's best to get an extra room versus you just getting two. Because then later on, you're going to have to add on or you have to cram two children in one room or you're going to have to get a new house. So let's avoid all that and let's go ahead and just get an extra room, you know? So after us doing that, we set up the meeting um, but that was what we were talking about, you know, in the meeting or whatever. But after us setting up the meeting and everything, we did set up, I want to say we set up a, a meeting after that. Um, did we set up a meeting after that? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. No, no, I'm sorry. Well, we did set up a meeting after that, but before we get to the meeting, um, we, um, after I had told them everything I wanted or whatever, they was like, okay, okay, we're going to get back to you. We're going to give you a portal for you to go on and basically the portal is something with Keller Williams and it's basically like they narrowed everything down to specifically what I asked for and after they narrowed it down they asked me you know what areas I want to move to do I want to move to Gonzales, Denham Springs, Baton Rouge and I just gave them a whole different a, a bunch of areas that I was looking towards going because it needed to match where I worked at or whatever because that's where my money is made and I need to be, you know, in good enough range to make it there or whatever. So with that being said, I got somewhere that was a reasonable, a reasonable enough, actually it was really, really close to my job. And, um, that's uh, after I had told them, like, you know, the areas that I wanted, they gave me the portal and the portal narrowed everything down. So that's how I was shopping around. But beforehand, before I was shopping around, I was, I was doing it on my own, just like off of websites that I found on Google. But then after that, with talking to a realtor, she narrowed it down to what I was specifically looking for versus me looking at what's on the market. Because, you know, when you go on the, the websites, you're looking at every single thing that's on the market. But when the people narrow it down, you're only looking at the stuff that's potential for things that you actually might like or whatever. So after I got to doing that, I started liking and favoring. And after you start liking and favoring and everything, the pe the realtors can see what you're liking. But they tell you to like, you know, like at least three or more or whatever. So, cause you know, like when you're getting ready to do house showings, you're not gonna just do one house showing and then that's over with. Like they like to do more than, you know, three or so. So it can kind of speed the process up because you don't want to keep having to meet up with the realtor because you can be meeting up with the realtor about at least 15 times before you finally find your dream home. It really just depends on how well they're working with you, how well you're actually putting in forth the effort to find a home. And like, you know, all that plays a factor. So like with that being said, I want to say we met each other three different times, three different like meetup times to see different homes. So the first time, it wasn't such a bad experience, but I just didn't really care for the homes. One of them was okay. I think the first one we went to, we did not like how the outside looked. The outside looked it just very mediocre. But when you go inside, I was like, whoa. And my husband was so ready to move. The first house he seen, oh, we got to get this. This one, this one we're going to get. We're going to go and sign the papers tonight. No, 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 nigga. You ain't going to sign my life over in this some bull. No, I don't really care. I, I, I'm like, I like it, but let's just weigh our options. Let's give it a, let's give it a little sticky. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even trying to rush nothing. And it's something I just really, you know, end up not liking in towards the end or whatever. So, and I did not like how the, the outside of the house turned me off completely. But the inside of the house had me like, yay, yay, I like this. But the outside of the house had me like, I ain't nobody, nobody to this house. So after we went to that house, we had two other houses to see. It was another house. I did not like the back of the yard. It, everything about the house just looked at average. I was like, no, no. We walked upstairs. The rooms were small, itty bitty. I was like, oh no. Then we walked outside the back of the yard. They got roosters and stuff in the dog on back of the yard. I'm not trying to wake up and hear no rooster in the morning time. I was like, oh no. Then the back yard was small, so it was no space. And then I didn't like how the way the drive through was, because the drive through was like really, really like slanted. It was just so many things that I just really, really did not like about that house. 
And I'm like, no, we not, we not even gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. Girl, went to another house. The other house was just ridiculous because of the fact that it was so dark outside. Like, you would need a whole thing of stadium lights in order to make sure that it was not like nobody around your house trying to like snatch you. Like, it looked like a spooky haunted house. Then on top of it, it's best not to try to get houses that's like on the market for a long, long time. Because those houses that's on the market for a long time, it's obvious something is wrong with the house. The house was just too spooky, y'all, like for real. It's like, I was scared getting out the car. Like I put my emergency lights on and everything. Like Robert was like, oh no. Walked in the house. The house was just horrible. Don't get me wrong, that was like, at the time, that's what made me stop looking for homes that I could potentially flip because of the fact that that house was requiring too much work for me to, in order for me to flip it. Like. I was basically buying a house. Don't get me wrong, property was really big. The house was huge. Like the rooms were really, really big. But it would have took so much work and so much money to put into the house to make it look like just dolled up and like really pretty and everything. So I'm like, eh, maybe I need to start looking for houses that is not so potential like to flip, but more so houses that I can kind of like, you know, already have some type of structure to it. So like what I want it to look like. So I kind of got a house that was like way more, you know, like ee, modern and everything like that or whatever. So that's kind of what I did. So like after I finally found which house it was and like I decided like which house it was after that third time and I finally was like, whoa, this is it. And what made me also have to hurry up is because like after I had seen it, it was actually somebody else that wanted to see the house too in the same day. And they ended up wanting to make an offer on it. So I was like, dang. So my roommates are like, you need to hurry up and make an offer on it because they might, not try, they might try to take it from you or whatever. So I'm like... So what do I want to do? So I kind of started getting kind of panicky or whatever because I just want to make a decision because this is my life I have to spend at this house. So I finally was like, you know, okay, well, let me go ahead and just go for it. So we went for it and we was like, yeah, we'll get the house. So like after we did everything or whatever, we, um, they had to check my credit. So they got to checking my credit and everything. And like that went through. Boom. So after that, they needed to see how much money I made. I had to send them bank statements, all girl. Like, it was so much stuff I had to keep sending them. I'm like, dang, like, it's like I'm signing my whole life over or something. Like, after one thing, it'll be another milestone I had to cross over. So they asked me to send me my bank statements, and they needed two months worth of my bank statements because they wanted to see every little transaction I made. They wanted to see if I went and took money out and I gave it to my cousin. Like, if I, if I took out a thousand dollars, they asked me what I did with the thousand dollars. I paid a bill or I probably gave it to somebody. They wanted to know specifically what I did with every little cent of my money that was in my banking account. Um, and they also wanted to make sure that my monthly income could afford, you know, the house that I was looking at too as well. So after all that was approved, I had to pay for an inspection because they need to inspect the home to make sure I'm actually paying for a value of the house. Like cause if the house is valued at 200000 I need to make sure that I'm actually paying for a house that's worth 200000 So I had to evaluate. I mean, I had to get an inspection done. Pay for the inspectors to come and inspect the house to make sure everything was up to date. Everything was up to par. Nothing is running down and they're not lying about nothing that they were saying when I came and toured the house or whatever. So after all that was done, it was a closing cost that needed to be paid. Lucky enough, the people that were still in the house decided to pay the closing cost, but they also upped. They didn't really pay the closing cost. We still kind of played the closing cost. They just ended up making the price on the house value a little bit higher so we could still be able to come to the house. Because we didn't have any closing cost money at the time. We kind of was saving money for other things at the time. So we didn't have the actual money to close. So what they did was lucky enough to raise up the price limit to where we could pay for it that way. So that was a bonus. Tell me about it. Anyways, and I had so many documents to sign. We had to sign so many documents to be sent off to the underwriter to make sure everything was approved first before we can actually go to a closing date. And the closing date is when we all come together, the lawyers, the realtors, everybody come and sign a document so I can actually get my house. So like after the underwriter finally, finally approved everything, then that's when I was finally able to like actually get my house. And like, I was finally like, yes, I'm anything. 
anything, 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 anything. Yeah, I was freaking happy. Like, I was ready. I was ready. I was too late. I'm going to be posting a video and everything so you guys can see, like, how we were and how excited we was. It really was like a video, whatever. It's kind of like a boomerang thing I was doing with my real estate or whatever. And we had took pictures and everything. Like, I was really happy. Um, And I just want to tell you guys, it can happen to you guys, too. I'm 21 now, but I was 20 when I bought my house or whatever. It's going to be almost a year um, in Thanksgiving Day because we actually moved in the house on Thanksgiving Day. Um, it's been a year I've been at this house, and I still absolutely love it since I first bought it. It can happen to you. Save, save, save. And plus, the main reason why my credit was so good is because I had already started, like, paying on stuff. And, like... It's best to just get a credit card, whatever you like to do or whatever, get it. And, you know, just just pay on time. I'm really big on paying my bills. Like, I would prefer to pay my bills, be broke for the next two weeks, come back around, pay some more bills, be broke, come back around, be broke, can't get my nails done, can't get my hair done, versus me trying to get my hair and my nails done and don't pay all my bills on time. You know what I mean? Like, I got priorities straight over here. So... Get your priorities together. You can be just like me, young, living it up, paying the bills, going to get your makeup done, going to get your hair done. I don't get my nails done yet because I ain't ready for all it. And I don't get my hair done by nobody. I do my own makeup. Budget, boo. Budget. You can be a baddie on a budget. Stop spending all your money because these girls be wanting to drop a bag on every little thing and really need to be worrying about how they going to pay for a house or pay for a car or get everything in their own name. Baby, I got everything in my name. Get to being a boss. Let's get it together. Let's run this money up. Bye, you guys. I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Tell all your friends about me becoming a homeowner and what I did to become a homeowner because we can do this together. I want all y'all to win, elevate. Let's get this money. Bye, y'all.